Hi, Idris. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you, Julian? Um, I tell you, I like this movie a lot. There's a lot edgier, a lot more special effects than the first film. When, when you're watching it, there's so many things going on. As an actor, are you really surprised to see the finished product, or was this what you imagined when you read the script? Yeah, no, these guys made a film that we actually, uh, they did CGI work, but their imaginations were, was all, all over the real film work. So pretty much what we shot is what I expected to see. You know, all the weird camera angles, all the sort of extensive sort of stunts we did in actuality. Um, your character, Maru, is a pretty cool guy. He does a lot of fun motorcycle riding. Right. Is that you or the stuntman? That's me. That's all me. I love motorcycles. Um, I used to ride one, and then I fell off a long time ago and I haven't been on one. So this was a good time to get back onto it and then have fun. He's also got a penchant for, uh, for fine wine. Is that something that you also embrace? Well, I'm not as... Uh, he knows exactly what a good wine is. I, I like a good wine. I couldn't tell you the best year. <laughs> but I know Moreau can. All right, and when you're filming a lot of these films, it takes so much time and energy and effort. What's the hardest day of filming for you on Ghost Rider? Um, you know what? It's the really early mornings. You know, like this film is a dark film, so we had to do very early setups. And we're in Transylvania, so, you know, like the sun looks beautiful when it's coming up. And, you know, dusk it looks just gorgeous on film. So we got up really early. That was the toughest part for me because it's freezing out there, too. All right, let's flip it around. What's the funnest day on set for you? Um, when they gave me the motorcycle keys and they were like, yo, go up and down the highway as fast as you like. No one's going to stop you. Do what you want. That was good times. Yeah, there's a kind of an interesting off-the-cuff element on these characters. And so I was asking Nick, I mean, how, many is, how much is on the script or how much is ad-libbed? For your character, Maru, it seems kind of the same way. Are you doing any ad-libbing or is that all scripted? There was some ad-libbing, yeah. There was some ad-libbing here and there. But we stayed a lot of, uh, close to the script as we can. Nick jumped around a little bit. But I stayed a lot to the script. But um, the fun scene, some of the fun scenes was just Nick and I, we would play about quite a bit. Now, as an actor, you've done a lot of different kinds of things over your career, playing a, like a, a hero in a superhero film. Is that more fun or less challenging? How do you rate this experience? It's more challenging because it's not, you know, um, you know I typically do real, real people in real situations, and, you know, that requires a certain set of skills. This is a little out there, requires a lot of stunt work, requires a lot of big face acting, as like I like to call it. And uh, that's very different. It's a different challenge, completely. All right, so my last question, um, what's next for you? What do you have upcoming? Uh, I'm about to, I'm doing a film at the moment called Pacific Rim of Guillermo del Toro. I'm shooting that in Toronto right now. And then I'm going to, me and Taraji Henson are going to go and do a thriller uh, this summer. I'm excited about that. Awesome, thanks.